Welcome to the Miami Heat Zone Podcast. I'm your host, Martel Llewellyn. Guys, we're pushing to 5,000 subscribers. I want to hit 5K subs as soon as October comes, or even before that. But thank you for all the support. And let's get into the video because Miami Heat fans are pissed, and justifiably. So let's just quickly review everything. We lack size, rebounding, and scoring. Jimmy Butler, he's getting older. Tyler Hero and Bam Adebayo, they're great players. I think Bam is our cornerstone player. I know a lot of people don't like Tyler Hero and they want Tyler traded. My thing is, listen, I think Tyler Hero is a good young player. I just think that his contract isn't warranted his play, unfortunately, right now. And with us paying Jimmy, Bam, Terry, Duncan, somebody has to go out of the mix. It's hard to trade Duncan because he's our one of our best three-point shooters. So to see him go... It's going to be really detrimental to our team because, like I said, he's our best three-point shooter. Terry, we just got him. And I know that the this organization is too prideful sometimes. And they're not really going to be quick to move off Terry unless they really have to. Because they don't want to admit that they made a bad trade. Now, in terms of bad asset management, that's one of the things. We let all these guys, Caleb, Max, Gabe, walk out the door for nothing. If you know, because I really think this Miami Heat team is pushing towards the future. Think about it. All these teams across the NBA are doing drastically better than us in improving their roster. Now, with the Miami Heat, because we have no assets and because other teams are not raving about our assets, it's hard to make trades. And people don't understand that. And especially when you have a high payroll, okay, not everyone's going to want to take a contract from Tyler or Terry or Duncan. That's actually what was plaguing us right in the past. Nobody really wanted Duncan's high contract. Of course, yeah, he's somewhat increased his trade value, but... There's just so many flaws with this roster. There's not even like maybe one or two things that can drastically improve because let's just say we get a Trey Young. Does that really make us top three in the East? No. When you look at Philadelphia, Milwaukee, the Knicks, Boston's not going anywhere. And I know a lot of people want to call Mickey cheap and this, that, and the third, but one of the biggest things is they need to pick a direction. They need to pick a direction immediately. Jimmy Butler's getting older, and I don't think he can carry the way that he's been carrying in the past. I just don't see it. He's really never been healthy within these Miami Heat runs. He's always missing games. We got to be realistic. And unfortunately, how did the Miami Heat find themselves in this situation? It's like they're making, the way that they've been making some of their decision makings, it's like we're the Charlotte Hornets. I don't know. Let me know in the comments. How do we improve this Miami Heat team? What direction do we go in? Who should we trade? Who should we sign? Like, there's just so many questions. This team is, is just so up in the air. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. Like, share, comment, subscribe as we continue to push to 5,000 subscribers.